Hey everyone and welcome back to another Nielsen Networking video. I hope your day is going well. Uh, for this video, what I'm going to show you is how to go out and download and install MySQL Server, MySQL Workbench, and MySQL Shell. They're actually all three part of the same installation process, um, just different options that you can enable or disable, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to um, install all three of them if you did want to. Um, so enough jibber jabber there, let's get ahead and uh, get to it. First thing we're going to do is open up a web browser and we're going to head over to mysql.com. Make this bigger for you guys. And when you get here, you're going to want to go to the download tab up here. And then you're going to want to scroll down to get to MySQL community downloads. And then you're going to want to go to MySQL installer for Windows on the bottom left. And then here you're going to want to select the second option. Uh, and don't be worried that this says 32-bit. Uh, this will work fine even if you're on a 64-bit. You can always run 32-bit applications on a 64. You just can't go the opposite way. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit download. And you could log in here um, if you had an Oracle login or you could sign up if you wanted one. I don't, so I'm just going to hit no thanks. And this will start my download. And we'll come back when this is done. Alrighty, and the download has finished, so I'm going to go ahead and left click on this. And we're going to start the installation. And a lot of the times, the first initial install you do for MySQL, you're going to get a prompt telling you basically that it needs to install an update to get the right catalogs uh, to continue with the update. So it forces you to update, but it prompts you to do it, which is kind of interesting, like right here you go. Um, so we're going to go ahead and hit yes, and then we'll actually get to the uh, installer. Okay, so at this screen, what you're going to want to do is you could do full if you wanted all this stuff, um, but I would suggest you go just with custom because we're really trying to just focus on the three um, server, workbench, and shell. And to get the server, you would go under MySQL, MySQL server, MySQL server again, and then you would go ahead and click this guy. And then you would want to go to application for both the workbench. The workbench is the equivalent of Microsoft SQL's um, SQL Studio. Uh, some people actually say it's nicer. Um, I think it's just personal preference. And then we're going to want to go to Shell, which is the command line uh, interface. And we're going to hit, yeah, up. Oh, shoot, I screwed that up. Uh, you're going to want to actually move it over. You're not going to want to hit next yet. You're going to want to move it over. Then you're going to want to hit next. And we're going to hit execute here. And this thing's going to install, which does take a fair amount of time. So we'll let it run its course and we'll come back. Okay, it's finished. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna hit next again. And at the uh, type in network, we're gonna go ahead and actually just leave all the defaults on the entire page. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And the next page is the authentication method. We're gonna to wanna to leave that under strong password encryption. We're going to go ahead and next, and we're going to need to enter a root password. Your root password is like your super user password, if you will. So do not lose it. And you probably will want to make a secondary account that isn't root, that doesn't have full privileges. Uh, I'm not going to show you that process because we don't need that for this demo. But what you would do is you would just click add user, enter the username, um, and the host. You would just want to do local host. And then you want to leave this if you want it as a DB admin, but then you could you could actually pick the role uh, that you wanted specific to that user, and then just do your password and hit OK, and you'd be good. But again, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit Next here, and then we want to leave it as a service, and we do want it to start up, and we're good there. So we're going to go ahead and hit Next, leave this as is. Okay, and at this point, we're going to want to apply the configuration, so we're going to hit Execute. Okay, and the installation has finished, and we're going to go ahead and click Finish. And here, this is all good. We're just going to hit Next, and then we're going to go ahead, and you could uncheck this if you did not want these two to start up after. Um, I just like to make sure they do actually work, so I leave them checked, but you could uncheck that if you wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and hit Finish takes a second here and there you go you got the shell back there and you got MySQL workbench right here okay at this point we're going to need to copy an environmental variable and put it in our path um, so things run properly so what we're going to need to do is browse 
And we're going to go to your C drive, program files, MySQL, SQL Server, bin. And you want to copy this. And then you're going to go ahead and go to system, system. And then we're going to go to uh, advanced system settings over here. There's a hundred different ways to get here. Go whatever way you want to get here. Uh, this just works. And you're going to want to go to environmental variables and you're going to want to go to path and you're going to want to go to edit and we're going to want to go to new and we're going to want to paste that in there. You can hit OK and OK and OK again. And then you are good to go. So we're going to close all these windows and we're back where we need to be. And uh, with that said, you should be good to go. Um, we have both the uh, shell over here. We have the workbench here. You can click into here if you wanted to and enter your password. And from here on out, you could go ahead and create your uh, database and do whatever you wanted to do um, with your new MySQL installation. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You know the drill. We would love for you to smash that like button. We would love for you to subscribe for future content. We would love for any comments you have, uh, throw them out there. Um, I will try to answer them the best we can. So with that said, I hope everyone has a great rest of the day. Talk to you later. Take care.